Uh, right now, we're testing a whoosh system. Basically, it's, it, it's a tube system where, where we can transport live fish uh, from one point to the other. Reclamation made a commitment to the Yakima Nation and to the state of Washington to look at and investigate fish passage at all our reservoirs. You know, that commitment now has been brought in as part of the Yakima River Basin Integrated Water Resource Management Plan called the Integrated Plan, which has seven components to address a holistic approach to the Yakima River Basin. Part of those seven components is reservoir fish passage. As an example, a helix fish passage structure is being constructed at the Clay Island Dam to get juvenile fish out of the reservoir and down to the river below. This type of system that we're testing here at Rosa today is an innovative way to possibly get adult fish back into Clay Island Reservoir. See, the Yakima Nation and the Bureau of Reclamation have been partners, so we're actually running the tests for them to see how it works and so then they can incorporate it into Clay Island Dam. The, the Yakima Nation has this great fisheries program where they will be able to document the survival of these adult fish that are using the WISH system, the survival of the eggs that these adults produce, and the survival of the juveniles. If the Yakima Nation's test this year and this system proved to be positive, next year Reclamation's plan is to test this tube type system at the Clay Allen Dam. So what goes on here is the fish are collected at the hatchery, uh, they're sorted, a random number taken. So we don't take all the fish, we just take a, a proportion of the fish going up the river to spawn to take to the hatchery. Well when the fish come in we put them in anesthetic and then we collect the bio information off of each individual fish and then send it off. This is probably the worst case scenario because we're trapping the fish, we're running them through the fish lock, we're running them down into an anesthetic tank, we're handling them, we're clipping them, we're holding them in you know, fresh water, and then we're running them through a flume system. And so if the fish survive this, they'll survive going over the dam. Using the whoosh system, it'll remove us having to handle the fish and move them where we want to move them. They'll actually do it themselves. They'll swim up a denial system into the whoosh and then get relocated to a higher point. So the whoosh tubes work on the principle of pressure differentials, uh, which is a fancy way of saying we push uh, harder on one side of the fish than the other. So we introduce a little bit of airflow behind the fish and we gently push them along the entire length of the tube. And uh, when the material is wet, when, you, uh, when a fish is um, sliding in the tube, um, there's, it's basically frictionless, uh, which is what allows us to transport the fish so gently with very little pressure. Today's test, and, and the reason we brought the whoosh system here is that we could test the distance of a simulation of fish going over Clay Ellum Dam, and it would be 1,100 feet. So this tube is 1,100 feet long. Our very preliminary results are that the fish survive this fine without any effect at all. This, this is new technology that is looking to improve on fish passage. You know, to put a ladder in Clay Ellum Dam would probably be about 50 to 60 million dollars. Fish passage at the reservoirs is extremely expensive and time consuming. This new technology may be quite a bit less expensive and we may be able to accomplish fish passage in uh, a tenth of the time. And this could be put up rather quickly, maybe within six months, when a traditional fish ladder may take years to build. With Reclamation's commitment to investigate fish passage in the Yakima system and the addition of the integrated plan, we've got to find a way that is cost effective, efficient, safe for fish, and something we can do in a timely manner. A tube transport system like this seems to meet these requirements. So we're optimistic that this test may help us get to where we need to be.